Chella Dana, problem woman, we eat everybody. When you come out with me upon your mind for this man, like I'm talking about Lady V, how dare you? How dare you? You want to come talk about my daughter and that she was raped and that she a porn star and she depend on only fan. Michelle, come and do that. Me wouldn't answer you. You are not the first person that would be saying it and I wouldn't blame you if you said, honey, you know why? If my daughter didn't do the thing she do, nobody could talk about it. I don't blame nobody who speaks about her. Oh, when you see she write, come and say, oh, mommy, one day I'm going to make you proud. Give me time. Tears come in your eyes. Cry if you want because it's a moment for women to cry because we're mothers. Michelle, you need to stop it. This is the second time you come out here and lie on me. And I don't appreciate it, Michelle. And I have never said anything about you that is negative. Even when you did it, I didn't bash you. I still showed you love and respect. I still spoke of you in a positive way because I know sometimes when we don't know the fact, we misconstrue things. Michelle, tell me when you ever hear Lady V come out here and speak of you in a negative way. Michelle, tell me when have I ever come to social media and disrespected you. Tell me when. Michelle, when did you hear me defend Mr. Ansom? Michelle, you say, oh dear you, and who are you? Michelle, who are you to go for Mr. Ansom pass from 2009? That you have it in your hand, can't read it. Me never read this case yet, and I will never read it. Michelle, you must not lie like that. You're saying somebody accused Mr. Ansom of doing something to his grandchild. Michelle, you just tell a lie for Mr. Ansom brawling. The police team burn you up. Nobody accused Mr. Ansom of doing anything to his granddaughter, Michelle. Michelle, you got it wrong. And that is why when you hear snippets, you need to go and watch the full thing so we have things in proper context. Michelle, I said I was not in defense of Lassell Parnell, girly, big boy, a.k.a. Mr. Handsome and any million other names he have. It is not my job to defend Mr. Ansom. Mr. Ansom, a big man in can defend himself. I never know Mr. Ansom from nowhere. I don't know what Mr. Ansom have done, doing, did, will do. I am not going to speak for Mr. Ansom. Sister J, people like them, I mean, no. We defend them people with everything, not Mr. Ansom. You need to stop it, girl. I am telling you. That is why educated no mean bright. That is why education no mean brilliance. That is why education from paper no translate to reasonable, rational thinking and comprehensive skill where you comprehend well. Michelle, where did you hear Valian Williams defended Lassell Parnell, Mr. Ansom, a.k.a. girly, big boy, Ansom family, wherever I something them be, me never defend Mr. Ansom. People that are the truth. People don't side with me. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong because that's the only way I can get better. Where did I defend it, Mr. Ansom? At no point in time did I defend that man. When Mr. Ansom want call here, I, I wasn't even kind to the call. When he wanted to make mention of things, I shut him down. When he started saying things, I dismiss him. My concern was the child. And my concern, Michelle, was what the stigma will do to the child going forward, not Mr. Ansom. Then can't put Mr. Ansom in our straight jacket and tie him up in our place for the rest of my life and me wouldn't even neither blink, black, blue, black, care. The child is my concern. Why, Michelle? Because I'm a mother. Like you're right, if you come out here and say, my daughter, did get raped, my daughter, pan star. Michelle, if you want, come tell me, so come tell me, so and be big about it. You are gonna say you don't respect me. You lost all respect for me. You forgot to say you did lost all respect for Chris. You know lose all respect for Majesty when you come and try to destroy Majesty business. You forgot to say you see him one. You know lose all respect for Miss Princess and you don't know Miss Princess just because she nominated someone to our award that you think was not worthy. 
Not just you. Many. Michelle Ladana, who you? Who give you rights to come out here? You lose respect for everybody. You lose, you have Mr. Ansom. You want to destroy Majesty's business. You try to tear that man down in the gutter. And you come out here to talk about standards and integrity, Michelle. What do you know about standards and integrity, Michelle? Michelle Ladana, what do you know about standards and integrity? Missy, you come and shade people where you say, I love them the most. Michelle, you are the greatest hypocrite out here. The greatest pretender and the greatest divider. And come for me, come ask me a question. Now. And let me tell you something. To a content, you yeah, look at me, see you run a good series with majesty. You will never get to run a series with Valine. I will never look at you, girl. I love you as a sister. I love some of the principles you stand for. I love some of the stuff you speak on. But me see you want to destroy Cora. Me see you try to destroy majesty. Me see your wife make Mr. Handsome can live again after his, his, his crime or his indiscretion or his weakness or his whatever. I am not Mr. Handsome judge. You're going to oh, you're not judge me upon this and that and that. But you are judge me. Michelle, you're not Jesus. Are you not Christ? Michelle, how you're going to judge Valine? How you're going to judge me? Vanilla, big up yourself. Who you judge? Judge who? Upon what? What are you using to judge me? Michelle, you come out here and lie on me. So me call lady name, which I was not referring to the lady. Majesty knows this. And majesty and the woman are sister like that. Majesty of the information. Who said what to me and who was on the live Why I reacted and said what I said. You run with it and you make it gospel. And I never corrected you and I never disrespected you and I never held anything against you. I called your name in videos after to say, like, chit chat me, Michelle, who pursue higher education. Y'all shouldn't bash us for it. Look what you're doing to people before you come out here acting like, oh, I have the moral authority to speak on things. What authority do you have? Majesty, big up yourself. Vanilla, big up yourself. Chocolate, big up yourself. Chit chat, I see y'all here. Michelle, it's not right. I never defended Mr. Ansom. Chocolate, vanilla, majesty, chicha. Did anyone of you see the live, Shanafi? Did you all see the live that I did? I was not in defense of Mr. Ansom. Michelle, you're going to say it's a slap in my daughter's face because I defended a pedophile. I did not defend anything or anyone. Michelle, if you hate Mr. Handsome and you want to have a go at him, like you go at everybody else, go at Mr. Handsome freely without endurance. I will not be coming to back up Mr. Handsome or defend Mr. Handsome. I like his work. Mr. Handsome and I are not friends. He's not nobody to me like that. And even if he was, I would not defend him. I never said that, Michelle Ladana. Michelle, you're not tired to lie on people. Michelle, when did I defend Mr. Ansom? Laurel, you were here tonight. Did I defend Mr. Ansom? I made it very clear I was not here to defend Mr. Ansom. I don't care about Mr. Ansom. I have nothing to do with Mr. Ansom. I am not, I don't care about his past, his present, his, his problems, his lawsuits, his this, is that, and anything else. I said that without water in my mouth. Michelle, the allegation was never against Mr. Ansom. When she draw your business in it, because she's trying to cripple your business, Shanafi. She's trying to destroy your brand. That is what happened. Just like she tried to destroy majesty. Didn't work. Michelle, you're not tired to destroy people. Michelle, remember you first come out here, come tell lie on me, you know? And I act like I didn't see and I didn't hear, you know? Because you didn't know nothing. You assume. And that's what assumption does. Michelle, had you listened to my live that I did Wednesday night, you would have known I was never in defense of Mr. Ansom. Never. Never. I 
I was defending the four-year-old baby girl, saying no human should be so inhumane to level that allegation that the boy, Michelle, listen what happened. There is a boy that is around Mr. Handsome that they call his nephew, that someone said is playing with the little girl inappropriately. Michelle, the allegation was never against Mr. Handsome. And God knows that you have wronged this man today with this video. You should not have. I'm not justifying nothing. You shouldn't have. Michelle, Mr. Handsome did nothing wrong on this occasion. Someone leveled an allegation against the boy that is around him and put this label and the stigma on a four-year-old. Michelle, in a society like Jamaica, like you and I know it, you know that people are going to point finger at the little girl going forward constantly to say, that's the little girl, that's so-and-so. People are going to take down the road, oh, I find you have four, so-and-so, and so happened to you. Michelle, I never troubled you. I never disrespected you, Michelle. Michelle, I never argued with you. I never demeaned you. Michelle, you lie on too many persons out here in the speaking nice. Speaking nice don't make it true. You need to stop it, honey. Honey, if you're hurting, get self-help and self-care. But don't keep hurting other people in the process. Michelle, I did not defend Mr. Ansom. And even if I did, it was my right. Because I'm an adult. I can do whatever I want. But I didn't. If I had defended Mr. Ansom, Michelle, as a sister to a sister, I'm going to tell you, darling. You come out and you say this, I would have looked into myself. I swear to God. Had I defended Mr. Ansom, Michelle, and you came out and did the video you did, I would have sat down in the corner and said, you know, so Michelle, right? Big woman thing. Michelle, right? You know, maybe my name that thing. Maybe I truly like him. But I never defended Mr. Answer, Michelle. I never did that. Michelle, in the name of God, stop lying on people. I said everybody have a past. And I'm not going to judge anyone's past. Who am I to judge? Who are you to judge? That's what I said, darling. I said it clearly that I was not in defense of Mr. Answer. I said it was the child that make it hurts. I went further, Michelle, to say I'm a feminist. I stand for the right of women and children. I never mentioned Mr. Ansom. I was not here. Every human being should have defended a little girl. Michelle, why didn't you say... It's not fair what they're doing to his granddaughter. She's only four. Let her grow up. People, if you don't know this to be true, don't say it. Why didn't you say that, honey? You're a mother. Why didn't you say that? Michelle, what? Me not have nothing for you, you know. Me know what you want, you know. I may draw away and give you space. Chris, I have to draw away himself, too. To give you room. Other people, too. Michelle, we know what you want, so we are geared to you. So all of we drop now, like a corner over there, so, so you can have the big, the big year of yourself. You want the auditorium, take home. Michelle, don't lie on me, Michelle. Michelle, I've never lied on you, have never condemned you, have never criticized you, have never said one word about you that is not nice. Even when you lied on me because of you miscomprehend. You misconstrued. I never held anything against your sister. I still watch things for you occasionally when I see them. I never once comment and say, oh, you had this and you had that and save 9 11. Even when you had drug majesty, I love majesty so much. I never put my finger, my tongue, my nose, my mouth, my foot, my hand, my head, my eyes in it. Michelle, I leave you to do what you do best destroy other people's image and reputation and brand. You did it to majesty. Remember? You did it to Cora. Remember? You did it to me. Remember? You did it to Miss Princess. Can you recall, sweetheart? Who? You did it to Mr. Ansom. Michelle, remember now? Many people out here you try to destroy. 
their livelihoods and their bread. Michelle, I've never disrespect you, honey. Why you hate me so much? Is it because people tend to compare us that we are the two educated one on social media? Michelle, if that is what you want, I'll speak dialect from here onwards when I come out here. And I will use profanity so you can say, yeah, me tell you no, see there? Michelle, if you want me to leave the media and give you so you can make money for buy a house, I will. Me can only live in a one house, me can't live in a ten. Michelle, for the name of God, I'm asking you to leave me alone. Michelle, you wanted to come out here and say my daughter got raped and she's a porn star. You said it and I heard your baby, but you didn't tell me anything new. I knew before any one of you on social media know. I know first. All right, honey. I did not appreciate the video you did today. I just didn't appreciate it. Michelle, I don't have a problem if you come out here and you speak your truth because you're entitled to speaking your truth. But when you're going to go and you're going to lie and say, oh, dear you, our show with Lady V, you defended a pedophile. If you want to call Mr. Ansem a pedophile, if he has a history or if he has case that can prove what you know, darling, take your platform and call Mr. Ansem a pedophile. Curse him and tell him about his deeds. Drag him back down memory lane to where he used to be and tell him that you have not changed and you cannot change. I know the Bible say the vilest of sinner can change. Anybody can change, even a pedophile. Anybody can change, even a rapist. Anybody can change, even a murderer. Anybody can change, even you. A miscreant who lies. Anybody can change, even a divisive human being like you. You need to stop it, honey. Michelle, don't lie on me. Social media is a free space. I did not. Yes, we're going to go dance chit chat. We're going to just turn ourselves in a fully dance. Since one person wants to get the badge of being the educated um, blogger. We're going to give it to her. Michelle will have you to be the brightest person out here. While those of us, the dunce, the low comprehension ones, we will stay in the back. But please allow us to build our brand. Please allow us to protect our brand. Please remember that a black woman like Shanafi came from behind several bars, several posts to get where she's at. And what I see Shanafi doing for children all the way over in Africa. I've never seen you done anything good for anyone out here except destroy people's brand that they work so hard to build. Look at majesty. Look at Chris. Chris is not a perfect person and he's on the live, so you know if you tell him something, say so. I may have a mobile phone, personal number at that. Chris not perfect. How when Chris rang, I call him on his phone and I straighten him out. St ask him, straighten him out and tell him, I listen to me. Don't you? And we show respect and love for each other. Ask Chris how you feel about me. Chris, I got to tell you, I love Lady V because she keep me straight. Me not side with Chris. When Chris wrong, ask him if me not tell him saying wrong. Brawling. Mr. Chris, are you wrong this time? Chris, no justification for this. No explain nothing. You're wrong. I'm mean, not nah, condoning you because I love you. But I have to tell you the truth so you can change. Chris, am I lying? Majesty, am I lying? Ask chocolate about me. Them people they know me. Me give it to them raw. Ask chit chat. Chit chat, come out here and do something. I'm mean not like it. Me say, hey, what nonsense is that girl? Are you serious? Honey, what got into you? Michelle, I'm not you. I don't destroy. I don't K-I-L-L. -L. I build. I help to build. I don't destroy. I'm not the demolition woman of social media. You are. That's why you lie on people so easily. That's why you misconstrue things and you come and you speak softly. I don't speak softly like you, honey. I'm aggressive. 
Michelle, I did not defend it, Mr. Ansom. I defended a four years old. And the allegation was never One thing you saying it like it is, how oh, you feel after is on you. That's me. And you know that, Trisha K. I say it like it is. So don't do that, honey. Don't stir up strife and mischief on the media. And then you said that side of social media, that side. You, t you, you put yourself on a level and put all of us in a class. Michelle, you're on no level, darling. You're not above any one of us here. Like Valine is not above you. I am not above you, Michelle. I am not better than you. I don't consider myself to be more educated, more bright, more light, more love, more beautiful, more anything. Michelle, I see you the same way I see me. I see you as a woman. I see you as someone with some level of intellect that can reason. Baby girl, we don't go to the same school. We are not on the debate team. You and I will not be on opposite side. You for and I'm against. I'm for you're against. It will not happen, sweetheart. I don't function at that level, honey. Michelle, let me tell you. In the normal course of things, I don't really address people directly most of the time. If I ever address. But because this is like not the first time. The first time, maybe same, you know, comprehend. You did even... Take it back. You let it sit out there. Yeah. And if you give me the chance, rain, I'd strain your how I'd straighten your how to, honey. Can you bend, bend, bend? Coming in this comment section. Men are like, yeah, you know, like me. Why are you here? Michelle, I did not defend Mr. Ansom. So, honey, if that is how you got it, you got it wrong. I did not defend it. Ervalyn, what's up? I did not defend Mr. Ansom. 